Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I am going to share conductometric titrations of strong acid versus strong base. Conductometric titrations generally involves the determination of end point by the measurement of conductance. A conductivity meter is used. HCl is good example for strong acid and NaOH is good example for strong base. Aim of the experiment is to determine the strength of HCl by using conductometric titrations. Apparatus include conductivity meter, conductivity cell, burette, pipette, beakers. In general, conductivity cell consists of both anode and cathode which are made up of platinum. Chemicals required HCl, NaOH and distilled water coming to the principle. Whenever HCl is titrated against NaOH, it results in the formation of NaCl plus H2O. Initially, the conductance of any substance depends upon two factors, number of ions and speed of ions. So, initial conductance of HCl is very high due to fast moving H plus ions. On adding 1 ml of NaOH each time, slowly the conductance decreases. After reaching the minimum value, again the conductance increases due to the release of fast moving OH minus ions. So, coming to the simple procedure, it involves the estimation of HCl. So, here HCl, 10 ml of HCl is taken into beaker and its conductance is measured. Each time 1 ml of NaOH is added and its conductance is measured. Generally, a table is drawn between volume of NaOH and the conductance. From the table, it is very clear that initially the conductance of HCl is very high and slowly it decreases after reaching the minimum value again the conductance increases. So, a graph will be drawn between volume of NaOH and conductance. It yields two straight lines. The intersection of the two straight lines gives the end point. So, coming to the calculations. Generally, we use the formula M1 V1 by N1 equal to M2 V2 by N2. So, here molarity of NaOH is M1, volume of NaOH V1, number of moles of NaOH N1, molarity of HCl M2, volume of HCl V2, number of moles of HCl N2. So, M2 equal to M1 V1 by N1 into N2 by V2. On substituting the values, the molarity of the HCl is determined. The amount of HCl present in 1 litre of the solution can be determined by using the formula molarity into molecular weight. So, if you like the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. For more videos, do subscribe my YouTube channel Learner's Choice at the rate of AL Madam.